Hi, my name is Chuck. Welcome to my channel, Chuck's Music and Musings. This channel will have gear reviews, trombone content, ukulele content. I'm a middle school band director and a freelance musician. And thank you for coming to my channel. If you like what you hear, please, please press like and please subscribe. Today, I'm going to be talking about two vintage trombones. This is a Con 88H that I've had since 1986, but the serial number traces it back to 1969. It has a fascinating story. As you can see, it is silver plate, a very thick silver plate, which makes it the perfect bass trombone player's tenor trombone. But the silver plate is sandblasted. When I first got this instrument in 1986, it was before the internet. So I actually wrote Khan a letter. And I got a letter back, and like a fool, I've lost it. I wish I'd kept it. But they told me the story of this instrument. The satin silver plate was not available to the general public. It was a special order for the army. And the army only ordered silver plated instruments at the time. And they kept the inside of the bell, regular silver plate, beautiful silver plate. They kept the emblem of the instrument, regular silver plate. And then they sandblasted the rest of the silver plate to make it easier for people who uh, were getting fingerprint inspections when they played to keep their horns beautiful. What happened in 1969 is the con company got sold and they moved their plant to Abilene, Texas from Elkhart, Indiana. The Elkhart cons are legendary for their workmanship, for their tone quality. I was so lucky to get this one when it came up. In 69, they announced they were leaving to Abilene, Texas. The actual move happened, sell, sale and moved happened in 1970. The army had ordered according to this letter that I got from Khan, a certain number of trumpets and I believe five 88Hs uh, in this satin silver plate. And then when they announced that the company was moving and selling, um, the rumor was that the parts were going to be manufactured in Mexico and assembled in Texas, and the Army canceled the order. And then when the employees in Elkhart were let go, not all of them moved to Abilene. Those instruments disappeared from the factory. Fast forward to 1986, and someone at my college had a couple of trumpets and a couple of trombones for sale, and I was lucky enough to get this one. Um, so that's the story that I heard. Doing internet research now, I cannot find any mention of satin silver con trombones. Um, all the mentions in the old catalogs and on the Khan Selmer site and on the Khan fan sites, uh, talks about red brass bells. I'm assuming this is red brass underneath the silver plate. I don't know, uh, but nobody talks about silver plate. So I'm very fortunate to have this trombone. A great tone. So I love this horn. I'm a school band director, and I very, very rarely bring this horn to school because I don't want it to get damaged in a school environment. So I've always played a different trombone at school, and I've always wanted a solution to be able to play something just like this, but not this, at school and keep this safely at home. This week I found my solution. Introducing my new to me Con 8H. And 8H is the exact horn of the 88H without the F trigger. Thanks to my, one of my favorite vendors, Baltimore Brass, they had this. I do not know the story behind it. It's the same satin silver, same shiny bell, same shiny emblem. And then doing the serial number research, I found out they were manufactured in the same year, 69. My 88 has a pretty low serial number one early in that year. This has a pretty high serial number for that year. So based on my research, this is truly one of the last Elkhart 
instruments. Same velvety tone, easier blowing because there's no trigger interrupting the gooseneck. Um, gorgeous, gorgeous instrument. So lucky to have it. And even though it's going to stay at school, I'm going to be super protective of it. So what I found out is based on my research. What I found out is based on my memory of a letter that I had in the 80s and have since lost in the dozen moves that I've made in my life. If you know anything about satin silver con trombones, um, I would love a comment from you. Um, if you uh, have any information about instruments of that vintage and the con situation at the time, I'd love to hear a comment from you. Um, even if you just like what you heard today, I'd love to get a comment from you. Thank you for checking out my video today. Uh, hope you hit like, hope you subscribe to my channel and stay tuned for more gear reviews and music information in the future.